Hello, welcome to Boats and Engines. In this episode, we will be modernising this dashboard a little bit. I'll just walk you through what we're going to do. First of all, we'll get the old gauges out and give it a little bit of a polish where it needs to be. That low rants will be going. Ray Marine will be going. Those two gauges will be kept because they're uh, linked to the engine and I need them. Uh, that compass doesn't work properly and none of these gauges work apart from the battery gauge and I believe that's because the boat's been re-engined and these are old mercury gauges so we'll be getting rid of certainly the trim gauge and we'll put in a different battery gauge and a different temperature gauge although that's not wired off at the moment it works on these we'll see what we can do to modernize the compass a little bit I want to have a tablet there, got a really nice ram mount to fit that and vinyl wrap in the middle and then perspex panels to modernise the side bits but you'll see it as we go. Alright, let's get started. got these three farrier gauges which I just happen to have in my stash of random boat parts uh, they're not perfect but they're a bit better than what's there um, the main reason I want to use these is because they're graduated um, the voltmeter on there is not graduated and uh, it seems a bit vague um, 
I'm not sure it's working that well. Temperature gauge wasn't actually wired up. Um, the temperature gauge is wired, the sender is wired to the main digital display, which just gives you a warning if it overheats. So I want actual temperature. And again, the trim gauge wasn't wired up. And just to test these, what I've got is a variable resistor and a little power supply. And I've got the temperature gauge wired up. Oh, hold on, have I even got it switched on? Yes. Got the temperature gauge wired up. And it's very sensitive, but it is working. So just as I'm trimming that uh, potentiometer variable resistor, I can see that it's working. I can also go through and measure the resistance at different temperatures. It's worth noting if you're trying to do this, if you if you try and measure it with the multimeter the way this works is um, it puts a voltage across it basically and then measures the voltage um, using a potential divider but I'm, I'm not getting into that um, so you won't be able to actually measure it live you have to turn it to a certain temperature then measure the resistance for your potentiometer and just do a little list of the um, temperatures at resistances and check against what sender you think you have i've probably just made a huge meal out of that but it's how i'm testing these gauges and hopefully give us some actual reliable um, telemetry much simpler now just testing the voltmeter so you can see there's a nice correlation a little bit difficult to read the gauge but much better than uh no real clue whatsoever and just if you're interested there's the results from the trim gauge so where it really starts reading i think it's about 600 ohms it's pretty hard to get an accurate reading i got well between six and seven hundred so that's what the sender should be um, static I think it's shabby should be 600 ohm static I mean that's at uh, room temperature 80 degrees C is 150 ohms and 120 degrees C is 20 ohms and max is 4 ohms so basically if it's a dead short you're um, boiling your engine to death
So we've got the dashboard all complete now. I think it's come out looking pretty good. So I just used purse specs for the side bits. And you saw how I cut them out, all very easy to do. And um, I think each of these A4 sheets was about three pounds each, which I guess is $5, so very cheap. And that was name brand purse specs. I just used some vinyl wrap for the centre bit. Uh, I didn't want to do it in purse specs because I thought lining up the edges would have been really difficult. Uh, I've also got a magnetic phone holder to go on there so my phone could go in the middle as well. Just got a 10 inch tablet, that's a RAM mount so it's removable and uh, it's designed to take that tablet in a waterproof case as well. So I'm just running a tablet and I'm running the Echozilla navigation system. So that's a black box sonar and it's also got a navigation, all sorts on it, speed, depth. Um, the charts I'm running at the moment are Savvy Navi, just in split screen mode with the Echozilla app. And I've got a transducer installed in the uh, engine bay. And this is just a 150 kilohertz in-hull transducer. There's also a transom mount one that goes with the Echozilla system. So the compass, I just took it apart and used some paint to paint it satin black. Makes it look a bit more modern. The blue fiberglass, blue gel coat, I went over with cutting compound and then polish. It's not perfect, but it's way better than it was. It was all hazed up. And the quality of the uh, mold's not actually that great anyway. But a much more functional modern dashboard. Those gauges cleaned up nicely. Got these. Everything's very dusty, sorry. Uh, so that one is wired up, that one isn't. But I think I found actually the sender wire when I was messing with all these gauges, so I think I can wire it up. Rockford Fosgate stereo, I had that already. I have got a second-hand VHF to go up there as well, which is why I've left that hole in there. Overall, yeah, really cool. If you want to check out um, the Echozilla system, it's really cheap. Uh, I think it's $170 or $180. That allows you to use your tablet as a full multifunction display. A 10 inch MFD with that resolution would cost thousands and thousands of pounds. Um, so it's a pretty cool system, go and check that out really modernizes the dashboard and it's very easy i can just take that home with me when i go also that because it's working wirelessly over bluetooth you can have it anywhere on the boat as well and i have it running on this phone as well down in there so i can have two two lcds all right thank you very much for watching um Thank you for hanging out with me today. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you have enjoyed it. And yeah, once again, information for any of this stuff, there's links down in the description. It's awesome, isn't it? Looks so much better. Bye-bye. I've just had the engine running. I got it warmed up and the anti-sold agent all pumped through. Uh, but it did start right up. That carb rebuild did an amazing job. She, uh... Sweet as.